Remember when building your own computer was a mark of pride? You're saying it's not? Is it? Wait, what are you, what are you, an old man? You can't, you can't build your own PC? I don't know if it's... you noticed, but I am in fact an old man. Okay, look, yes, God. <laughs> this is the sound of my rage short-circuiting. I don't have time for it anymore. That's fine, I understand that, but it's still a mark of pride. When's the last time you built a PC? God, let me put it this way. When we were assembling all of our parts and getting them together, Brant mentioned thermal paste, <laughs> and I thought, what are you, a Cylon? <laughs> Thermal paste, that's not even a real thing. So it's been a while. Your internet dads remind you how bad computers used to be. All right, so we made some friends over at AMD. We told them that we wanted to build a gaming PC for the Modern Rogue. They were nice enough to hook us up with a bunch of stuff. I have no idea how much any of this costs. So as we go along, let's kind of get an estimate for okay. everything. First thing you're gonna need is a motherboard. And they're, nowadays, they're so much better than they used to be. You used to have to plug in a different sound card, a different network card and everything. I was really surprised in that everything is on the board. Again, it's been a while. Uh, $99 <laughs> All right, great. on so Amazon. About 100 bucks. Second up, you need a CPU to plug in. A lot of CPUs come with cooling, uh, like a fan and, and thermal paste <laughs> and other stuff built in. This is the uh, Ryzen? Risen? Risen. It's got to be Risen. It's pronounced Ryzen. That one you can get on Amazon for 150 bucks. Okay, so we're up to 250. We just picked up a Wi-Fi adapter because there's not Ethernet running everywhere. That's uh, 40 dollars for that. Graphics card. I, I guess it, I'm gonna guess this is a mid-range unit, Radeon uh, RX. 570? They're gonna be like, ha, this is back when the RX 570 was around. Yes, we get it. But the thing is, there's always gonna be a high end, a mid range, and a low end option on graphics. This, at this time, back in the past, happens to be the uh, the mid range option. Uh, it's pulling up now for $455 on Amazon. Oh boy. It's a little tough to find good graphics cards right now because of the cryptocurrency rush. Oh, every, in fact, that's right, because you can optimize GPUs to uh, do cryptocurrency. All right, for storage, we got something super basic. This is a two terabyte uh, desktop. It's magnetic storage, it's not SSD, so it's not gonna be as fast. If you do 100 bucks, you can get a, a decent, yeah, anywhere from like 50 to 100. And then, oh, wow, this looks like a nice, power supply, is it? 650 watts. Um, oh, it's only bronze though. <laughs> I was excited for a second. That's less than a hundred bucks, right? Yep, anywhere from 50 to 100. Okay, and then memory, we got two sticks of four gigabytes each, so eight gigabytes of memory. And then uh, case is what? Anywhere from 50 to 150 bucks? 50 to 100, I would say, yeah, it's, yeah. You're not getting anything fancy with the lights and the bubbles, which I was always kind of attracted to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this I makes me feel like I'm in Blade Runner. <laughs> Dude, I went to QuakeCon and there was one that was an entire PC where everything was submerged in this uh, liquid coolant and you were just like the CPU was totally exposed and it was just boiling on it. it looked amazing. That's fascinating. Yeah, right? All right, first things first, if we're gonna do this correctly, we should have static discharge bands. You can get them and they're tethered and grounded so that there's no chance that you accidentally spark with static electricity and make it happen. We don't have those and it's pretty humid. We're probably fine and we'll just wear these. Why does it say Safe in the door, but why does it say placebo? Just as a nod to doing the right thing. Oh, sure. Got okay. It. All right. When I first got started, I would put the motherboard in and then put everything in on top of it. That was insane because it's really hard to work inside a chassis, right? So instead, we're going to build everything right here and then we'll attach it on in. Makes sense. And this is the motherboard. Yeah, here, scoot all that bees over. Oh, wow. Yeah. What? Look at that. Yeah. They come in black now. <laughs> I'm I mean, so what? old. You're so old. I'm so old. <laughs> you're like plastic cup holders. It's what like, will they think of next? It's like, this isn't green. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time. The motherboard usually will have a quick assembly guide that tells you what thing to do in which order. For example, you notice that we have four different memory slots here. You can't just take memory and just pop them in any old spot. Oh, right. This is going to tell you what goes where in which order. They have to be paired appropriately. Uh, yeah, and the setup guide is usually pretty fast. So I guess- So we're almost done, really. <laughs> it used to be that, that you would have tons of these uh, ISA slots and then they were PCI yeah. and then AGP and so and on. And you would have like a PCI bridge on top sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was, uh, these are a lot more elegant than they used to be. Well, and they also have a lot more integrated components. You, you can see that there's a built-in sound card. They, this one has built-in graphics with VGA and DVI and uh, HDMI. It's got a PS2 mouse and keyboard port. Oh, wow, I didn't even think anything came with PS2 ports anymore. Yeah, I wonder if that's just a legacy thing, because I seem to remember there's some things that PS2 
this too can do that that USB doesn't. Oh, okay. This area right here is where you're going to put the CPU. That'll okay. be the brain, right the here. actual calculations. This is where memory goes right here. Uh, video card goes here, and you see there's a second one here because you can run two video cards mm -hmm. simultaneously either to run different monitors or to work together to speed everything up. Yeah. And then the last part right here is these are SATA ports for plugging in various storage devices, hard drives and okay. so on. Okay, what's first? We start with the CPU. Now keep in mind, the worst thing you could do is plug in a CPU and just turn it on because it turns out all CPUs run at super nuclear temperatures and the world will blow up. Really? No. Yes. They sent a drone too. <laughs> I'm touching things I should not be touching. You touched, oh, you touched the thermal base. Oh, sh <laughs> it wasn't even protected. It was just right there. <laughs> Am I gonna die? What is this? No, you might, it's fine. Everything's fine. Is it tasty? What? <laughs> Can you eat? <laughs> What's it smell like? You're, you're the kid who eats thermal base in <laughs> kindergarten. Uh, the, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> it's fine. It's stick, it's very sticky. It is very sticky. Get this, man. There used to be a time that it was possible to insert your CPU the wrong direction. Oh yeah, no, I remember. That was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all they gave you was a dot, like, light up the dots. And it's like Otherwise, suddenly hundreds of dollars gone. Yeah. Dude, look, look at how fine that uh, craftsmanship is. It's beautiful. So in this case, you see that of the four corners, there's this one with the little triangle. Okay. I assume it lines up with that one right there. It used to be that they didn't have these handles on there to notch them in. So basically you had to lay down and just kind of go, and hope that you didn't bend a pin. Yeah, no, I remember. Uh, this is all new to me. Wait, no, not you. Must have seen these. God. No, no, with this, the, the 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 arm and everything. Yeah, that's been around for a while, I believe. So you just set it in there, and it lines up. There you go. All right, and then you see these mounts on the side. Mm -hmm. This will be what we're going to mount the CPU fan to. Okay. I think these are for fans that clip on. And then this one just is able to screw right in, I'm gonna bet. Should we maybe look at the instructions? Read the instructions. Or? Do we have a screwdriver? According to these hieroglyphs, we take off these things. Unscrew them out. And then put them in. Should have bought the drill. Yeah, let's take a second. So the next part is we have to figure out where to plug in this fan on there. Cause you'll notice there's a bunch of little spots that you could plug in uh, for power. Yeah. And one of them should be labeled CPU fan. See if you can see one. Uh, oh, CPU fan. God, one. that's really hard to read. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up, and you can. Is, is there any particular positioning? No. I mean, okay. should you put it to where this will most easily connect to the thing? No, and... because if you did, you're gonna have this big dangling oh, thing sure. all over the place. Yeah. So, so I actually wouldn't mind rather just sort of running it around like this. No, that's not that's not enough. Or doing this. Yeah, like that, right? So it used to be that you had to squirt thermal paste on there. This comes with it already built in. I rubbed some of it off. I, I don't know if you I, noticed that. I did notice I that. I hope that doesn't cause any issues. The thermal paste is, is gonna conduct the heat right into the fan. There are some purists out there that if you're gonna run at high temperatures or overclock or whatever, mm -hmm. it's really important that you not use the stock fan that comes with these. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah. you can get some that look like a friggin' V8 engine. They're insane. Well, that's where like water cooling and stuff like that come into play, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, once we get once you get to water cooling, then it's like, I'd, I'll pay somebody else to do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you're just building a stock unit like this, I Have I you ever had a water cooled PC? Oh, sure, I still do. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Two of the podcast PCs are overclocked to 15%. No kidding. Yeah, and they're they're silent, it's awesome. You can feel when you're finished on this, it like kind of stops. And it's not one of those questions like, am I doing it too tight? Am oh, I breaking right. everything? You're gonna strip it or crack the motherboard or something right. like that. This is actually, I think, a really good activity if you're a little bit handy and you wanna do something with one of your kids mm -hmm. or something, I think this is a good one. So at this point, we got the CPU in, thermal paste connecting it to the uh, heat sink and the fan is plugged into the CPU fan. You wanna go memory next? I think, uh, yeah, let's do the memory. We got eight gigabytes of RAM here, two, okay, four here, gigabytes. Bust, stuff. bust those open. Is this RAM gonna have like any like memory paste or anything weird on it that, <laughs> that you're gonna memory, make up? Memory paste, it's LSD. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing something very sensible, which is opening this in front of you. There's a good chance that's gonna fly pop open out. And fly all over. Right, so instead, there you Let's go. keep it down. Yay, nicely done. There we so go. So the question is, which bank do we do? Look at how sleek these are. Also not green. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, A1, A2, B1, B2. So it's the two closest to the CPU. You used to be able to install this stuff the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Very difficult now because they got that notch in there. Yeah. You're gonna have to see. Just line up so the like, notch. So like in that case, the notch doesn't line so up. So you're gonna flip it. Yep. Yeah. 
And then when you push down, these guys will automatically latch on. Yeah. So open up your latches, push it down, and they'll there automatically it is. latch in. So what do we got left? We got the graphics card, the hard drive. Uh, this is just supply. a USB thing. And the power supply. Yeah. I think we could put this in the box at this point. Are we ready to do that? Or yeah. Or do we want to put the graphics card in first? No, be because then you got to coordinate everything as you put it in. I, I think we'll be all right. Okay. No, oh, why you touch it? Oh, you peel it and then you never touch it and it's beautiful forever. You're a monster. <laughs> you are a monster, For Jason a second, Mike. I thought I did something horribly wrong. And no. then I thought, I'm gonna press my face on it. <laughs> like these are fairly standard positions for this stuff, but it used to be that you had to make sure to use the right type of screws to put in there. Otherwise it would arc and, and oh, make trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. But it looks like this guy lines up. Well, you, you, you're gonna have to line it up to where these are out facing, right? Yeah, so let's go the right direction <laughs> to begin with. That's a good, spinning, that's a good trick. <laughs> there it is again. I will line these up. Yeah, this is great. So it actually labels, uh, these are the motherboard slash hard drive screws. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the SSD style screws, SSD pan head screws, short fan screws. Great, so here, hold that, keep that open. Okay. All right, let's screw this in. It's not catching? No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so, uh, there we go, here. Yep, okay, I think we got it. Okay. Go baby, go baby, go baby, go. Ah, perfect. Oh, nice. That, that feeling when it just bites and it's snug and you know you did the right thing. That's two, three. They build these so that they can go in various um, types of So you won't use chassis. all of the holes because some I chassis. Mean, may maybe you will. I mean, it depends on what kind of chassis you get. But in this case, there's nothing to screw into there. Yeah. But I mean, to be honest, it's like if you just got enough anchors that nothing's going to touch metal on metal, I think you're going to be all right. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the GPU now. Okay. So we know we're gonna use this main first port there. Nice. They're larger than I remembered. <sighs> You're not kidding, dude. <laughs> they look like they're about to fly away like drones. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you got requesting identification. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. So where, where are the cables for that to connect it to the motherboard? Uh, all of that should come with the PSU. Oh, with the PSU? Yeah, with, with the power supply unit. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So for right now, we just want to get everything in, and it's important that the last thing we want to do is hook stuff up so that electricity is flowing through anything. Because yeah. if you have components and you're monkeying with and something touches something that's been charged up, that it can be It doesn't take news. much to ruin everything. Yeah. Okay, so in this case, this little switch right here, mm -hmm. you want to pop that down, and yep. it should work just like the memory. When we put it in, it should pop right up. So this is where the power goes. This part is what plugs into the motherboard, of course. This part will snap in there. And then on the back, you got, it looks like uh, five different display capabilities. You got the DVI, mm -hmm. HDMI, and then three display ports. And so this should line up and just pop right in? It's gonna mark? be pretty intuitive, or should be pretty intuitive with where you plug it, because all of those things have to be just so. Yeah, but, oh, you know what I bet this is doing? Is making it easy so that once it's in, you just put down one bracket across the top and lock everything down. Mm-hmm. It's just gotta be really modular. Yeah. So it's gotta go down one. Aha! Okay, so I removed this very first guard mm -hmm. up top thinking that was the one that would line up with the GPU, but instead it clearly lines up with that, uh, is that mini PCI? Wait, what do you call that tiny? What is that? Uh, that's PCI, like you could plug in like a network card on there or something okay. or anything that's fairly low bandwidth. Basically the, the length of this connection determines the amount of throughput, give, oh. or, give or take, right? So if you have something like a sound card or something, you only need a little bit okay. versus a uh, GPU obviously requires a lot of throughput. Nowadays, you can get SSDs that plug right in. Instead of even going through the SATA interface to a hard drive over here, the hard drive is like a card that you just lock in and nice. it's insanely fast. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so. And then we should hear a click. Oh, solid. Satisfying. All right, now here's the real question. Are you a good boy and make sure to actually put the screws back in every time? Or do you just change stuff and let it just sort of dig? You don't know me. <laughs> Apparently I do. 
I have computers that have never had the side on them. And really? They, and there's literally a hard drive dangling out the side on my kid's computer because it's a pain in the butt to get in there. I'm just you like. You have the hard drive dangling out the side? Yes, but it's away from. And then you just. You animal. You, you air dust it from time to time. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. By air dust it, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> and you just rub it down. With, a, with like a, a napkin from a fast food bag. <laughs> It's good. Okay, so GPUs handled. What's left? Uh, oh, um, is that thermal paste? No, that's horsey sauce. <laughs> horsey sauce. Uh, I guess we'll at least put in the hard drive so that the very last thing will be the power. There's really only two things to be worried about. This is power. This is SATA. You probably have not seen this since it's been a billion years since you made one. No screws. They got pegs. You put in this. There you go. That's awesome. Right? And then it just uh, pinches in so it stays latched in. What's left? The PSU. Just the power. Just all the wires. I think this might be the first PC I've ever built without any kind of optical drive. No DVD, no Blu-ray, no burner, no nothing. And I think it just goes down in here. Does it matter? Is there an upside down? This is where you keep your kyber crystals. <laughs> the power the here. device. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. All the, all the things line up with the other things. Oh, this is nice. So it used to be with PSUs, everything was already fused in, and then you basically had a billion freaking tails everywhere. Yeah. But now they actually have plug-inable ports here, so you don't need more wires than you're gonna use. So I assume both of these go to these parts on the motherboard. That's always good to say, right? I assume, and then just plug stuff in. There we go. Okay. I guess some common sense stuff. You don't want the wires covering up the airflow for the fans and all that. How important do you think that actually is? I always worried about it. There are tools that you can have that will monitor the temperature of your PC. And you can see, as long as you're in the green zone on all that, it really doesn't matter how good the airflow is. It's only when it starts to get warm and then you're like, well, let's do something about it. So you add fans. Now we just need to connect the GPU with, uh, I assume, this red thing. Oh, here we go. It says black is for SATA, floppy, and peripherals, and red is for PCIe, which is this one. And great. Okay. Okay, so at this point, we've got the CPU, we've got power to the fan on the CPU. That one is important because if you fire this on and the fan's oh, not the running, fan, yeah, you're dead. Trouble. We've got power to the GPU, GPU's in there. Everything else is integrated. Are, are we done? We have uh, everything connected to the hard drive now? Oh, no, nothing. Yeah, have. okay, hard drive. We'll plug this guy into the black peripherals zone. And you can, if you're a good person and precise, you can cable tie all this stuff. It it's, did come with cable ties. Yeah, but I, I'm aware. Okay. <laughs> you can leave the hard drive just dangling <laughs> out. I'm telling you, it's fine. So here, I'm gonna, I am gonna run this power out through here and then we'll plug it in. There we go. So this area right here. Okay, so there's power. There we go. And this came with the hard drive. We oh, have the, yes. the SATA cables. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll do just one in here. And we'll run this guy through. Do you know what's a weird hack that I do now that I'm old? Is I use my phone as a magnifying glass <laughs> so that oh, I can wow. see. <laughs> there we go. So now you can read SATA three underscore two, SATA three underscore three. I guess it doesn't matter. It's gonna recognize it. Hey, I heard the snap click. That means, that means everything's great. Everyone knows that. Holy cow. I think this is a computer. No, we haven't, we haven't hooked up the buttons or nothing yet. What was I thinking? Okay, well, I mean, when you press the oh, button. Oh, like the power button. Yeah, right? We also haven't hooked up the fan or the buttons or nothing. Okay, so these are built into the case. You'll notice that they're all labeled here at the end. This one says reset switch, mm -hmm. SW. So. Uh, there we go. This guy says power LED, positive and negative, and this one's the power switch. So all the power switch is going to do is bridge the connection between the two jumpers on there. Okay. So here we go. HD audio one right there in the corner. So this one here is HD audio. What this is going to do is break that out up to the headphone port and the microphone port and all that stuff. Okay. So we'll just run that guy in. And again, you see they, they do their best to make it easy on you because there's one blacked out pin so you can't put it in the wrong way. Oh, nice, okay. And then we'll just line that up. So there you go. It says those top two on the right are power button. Got it? And then uh, PLED, power LED, that's these two. Yep. Okay, great. So here, you hold on to that dangly one. 
and I'll put these on the next two. Positive is on the left and negative is on the right. Okay, so that lower right part there is gonna be the reset. So we've got switches and audio for this part right here. So for these USB mm -hmm. parts to work, we gotta plug those in as well. And so for the fan, you can really just plug it into any of the fan ports on the motherboard. If you want to have your monitoring software know which fan is doing how many RPMs and oh, so on, sure. then you wanna pay attention to where you're putting all that. Yeah, some people really fetishize like every little speed and feed. Great, yep, that's yeah. where it is. Got it. So we press the button and the power. Oh, and then this fan is now plugged in. We got power. I think, I think we made a computer. We got the connections going to the USB ports. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Do you seal it up? Because to me, that's the ultimate act of hubris. That that's means, yes, Icarus no. flying too close to the sun. Yeah, no, you got to get it running before you seal it up. Okay. Absolutely. You want to plug it in and see if it posts? Yeah, where's the power cable? Uh, oh, right here. So post is that beep that you hear when you start up the computer, the mm -hmm. power on self test. It basically says, I live. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to believe that they would sub substitute that. <laughs> so, sounds like dress pants robot man. Yes. All right, it's plugged in. Are we ready? Go ahead. Now, all you've done is you've turned on the PSU. So the PSU has power, mm -hmm. but now I'm gonna hit the power button. Fans going, fans going. I live. I didn't get a beep. Is there, should there be a beep? I don't know. I don't know if they do beeps anymore. Okay, I'm gonna guess that we could take all these bits and pieces and push them off to the side. Now we get to do the nice thing and... Uh, Connect to the monitor yeah. and the speakers and all that, all the peripherals. Just don't worry if you have parts left over. It's, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so something we should have done. We should have put this in. We could easily take it out and put it back in. I don't want to. Okay, so we'll leave this here. Okay. Uh, great. Okay. Keyboard, mouse, monitor, and speakers. So I got the sound bar on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Okay. And it's it's got a nice independent knob and it's all USB powered. So we got that. Yep, we can hear that we're getting something in there. Keyboard. Cheap mouse. Do we have the cables for this monitor? Oh, sexy. It's pretty good looking. Uh, the GPU should have a display port or HDMI. Oh my God, if that's the cable that we forgot. There's no way they sent a GPU without any... Oh, look in the GPU box. Where is the GPU box? My kingdom for an HDMI cable! Well, the good news is I got us a really sweet monitor. It's pretty slick. <laughs> it's six, 600 bucks on Amazon right now. The bad news is uh, we don't seem to... Have any HDMI or yeah, DisplayPort cables. I can't believe the GPU didn't come with that stuff. I would have thought for sure. I'll be this, back. This happens on a build. Yes, every time. Yes, always. I'll be back. Got the cable. Good. Yes, that's necessary. But the good news is, apparently, we were able to put the back on there. Yeah. Hey, we got the plate. A friend of ours pointed out that nowadays, the cables tend to come with the monitors mm -hmm. instead of the GPUs. Yeah. So in this case, uh, for DisplayPort, I assume it's because this is a 21 by 9 ultra wide display, which is going to look amazing. It's going to be pretty slick. Here, you plug in that part. I made a Windows installation USB disk, and I've got, actually, even if you have a Windows 7 license, mm -hmm. it works for Windows 10. You just download Windows 10, put it on here. Oh, you can still then, do that. Yep, your old okay. Windows 7 license will work fine. So Perfect. I got a few of those. And even if it didn't, you get 30 days. So if you're the kind of person that just wants to reinstall every 30 days. I'm sure there's somebody out there that would do that, like maybe me when I was in my early 20s and broke. We'll just fire it up and see if we post and see the BIOS. Oh, I just did, I just did that. I pressed the, I turned it on. Hey, who? Lights! What? Uh, a AS Rock! Lights? What was I? <laughs> I couldn't How form many words. You see? <laughs> Four! <laughs> no signal. Entering power saving mode shortly. Don't you do it. Reboot and select proper device or insert boot media. I'm gonna restart it and I'm gonna hit like delete F10 and F1. Usually one of those three gets you into the BIOS mode. Mm -hmm. so it, 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 all, it usually depends. Oh, it says F2 or delete to run setup. Oh, okay. I hit both. Hey! There we ah. go. Ah, ha, ah. we have, we have computer. We get signal. <laughs> we have no chance to survive, make our time. So we're gonna look for boot. There we go. Boot option one. You're going to direct it to the USB drive. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put in the boot drive. There's a light on the USB. You hear so it. I'm gonna press the reset button. We'll see if, we'll see if it works. Oh, that's good. We're gonna see a Windows logo. There yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, uh, uh. 
By the way, the only thing we've not installed yet is the Wi-Fi adapter because we ran a 100-foot Ethernet cable over, so hopefully like installing the games and doing the updates and all that stuff go a little will go faster, faster over the hard line. But the router is on the other side of the world, so the last thing we'll do is put that on for ongoing Internet. So Windows, yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, wow, install now. I pressed the button. What this is saying is I detect this drive. This is the magnetic storage, but it says unallocated space. So you have to create a new partition oh, and okay. you'll do maximum size on that. And it warns you it's gonna delete everything on the planet. And you're like, no worries. That's awesome, it's recognizing the hard drive. That's where sometimes you'll have like a, a magnetic storage for data. That's mm -hmm. what I do. I'll have like a four terabyte drive for holding all my files, but you want your operating system on the really fast drive. Right. So that'll be an SSD, a solid state drive. Yeah. And so uh, you'll that make sure- It won't have nearly as much space on there. Correct. Yeah. Not, or I mean, I guess you it could. could. Like you be, could. It'd be expensive, yeah, but yeah. yeah. The weird part is, even though all the components are gonna be horribly dated in 20 minutes, the spirit of it is the same. There's always a high-end, middle, and low-end GPU. Mm -hmm. uh, CPU, you're gonna to have to do a price to performance ratio. Mm -hmm. And then uh, everything else is, you know, whatever the specifics are, the heart of it, this is the same crap I did in college 20 years ago. Well, that's the funny thing about uh, selling computers to individuals, which I used to do a long time ago. In talking to people, they're always afraid to merge into traffic. They're looking for just the right time because, oh, well, I heard this video card is coming out yeah. and then this processor's coming out. It's like, yes, you can play that game. That's always how it's going to be. Yeah. And the beauty is when you build your own PC and the new cool thing comes out, you think to yourself like, uh, yeah, is that worth the improvement? You're like, yeah, let's go for it. This might take several minutes. This is where it's good to actually have an optical drive because we could just put this in and the drivers would work and mm -hmm. then we'd be on. So instead, I'll have to download it onto drive. your laptop. Yeah, here, let me do that and okay. we'll just get started. All right, so good news is I got the Wi Fi working. We're on the internet, but you see there's a whole bunch of devices in the device manager. But look at this, they're figuring out the drivers as it's, it's downloading them right now. You're watching it figure out as it plugs into the internet. You're like, what is this body part? Oh, good. Oh, this is my arm, my good. leg. I live. I, I was afraid that we were going to have to go through each one and troubleshoot that, each of those. That used, that used to be the case. Yeah. yeah, and you needed floppy disks for the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, but now it's like once you get connected, Windows is pretty good about talking to HQ and be like, hey, what is this? Uh, what's this thing for? I don't want to wait. Screw it. I'm downloading Overwatch. You're not going to try to fix the sound? I, 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 we'll fix it someday. We know how it sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do all the voices. <laughs> I don't want to see. I want to here. You know what? I'm just going to type in download. Overwatch. Uh, I don't want to buy it, I want to download the installer. Cortana. Cortana, I don't want to pay for Overwatch, but I want to install it. <laughs> Recommended. Wait, maybe? Ah! Ooh. Oh, it's Ooh. beautiful. Ooh. It's beautiful. Look at it. <laughs> God, it's like, oh no. Uh -huh. Install Battle.net. Does somebody who's not me want to do this? Yeah. There you go. I'm just gonna cut. No to hesitation. It. Yes. Dude, I think we're good. I think we did the thing. I can't believe we made this work. Okay, I'm gonna grant you this is probably not the best game position setup, but here yeah, we'll go ahead and allow this. Yeah. yeah. Do we have audio? We got some audio. Yeah! Winston. All right, first of all, this is BS. They're not taking advantage of the ultra wide display, and they're giving us a letterbox. Keep it at all. You're right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Make it true, ultra wide. Uh, that looks right. Ah, oh. Oh, aspect ratio. That's our problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we gotta pick 21.9. Hey, oh. hey, we did the thing. Look at that. Uh, now I wanna watch that opening cinematic again. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Fair. favorite? Fair is my girl. Fair is your girl? Yeah, but do, do, you, yeah. you're playing, so play who you're. I'll do the, uh, well, I'll do Reinhardt. Justice. I should or should not be on the payload. Always get on the payload. I know, that was my joke. I know it was a joke, but it's not funny. It's not a joke to you. No. Oh, there's the payload. I should be on the payload. You... <laughs> I wish you had told me that I should be on the payload. <laughs> Kill Diva. No! Kill All right, so this whole setup runs roughly 
about $1,200 approximately. Now that's without the monitor. The monitor is another 600, but if you want all of the gear in here, including a top of the line AMD processor, uh, a mid-level uh, graphics unit, your hard drive, your RAM, your power supply, and your chassis, keyboard and mouse, it's gonna run you about 1200 for what we got and right keep, now. Keep in mind that part of the assembly process means that you now have the skills to upgrade as you go. When a better graphics card comes along, oh, I already lost. See, and you can lose like us. It's not the way to end the episode. No, I think it's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> as accurate as we can make it. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, I'll tell you what, man, uh, this is extraordinary. I love the whole process of building PCs. I love playing PC games. Ha damn. Mission success. I did not expect it to actually work. <laughs> I was convinced. I, I thought we were gonna be here till late into the night. I made an appearance in the play of the game as the guy who got killed. <laughs> Like some sort of poltergeist, maybe. 